Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters! Well, we've explored all of the planets. Now we gotta start doubling back over them. Oh, one guy was missing from there. Oh! And if you can see that uh, there are pirates everywhere on these planets, but not the Celestial Archives, so... I think this might be the safest place to go to right now. And then the beacon goes off and every single hunter goes, Oh, Celestial Archives? Alright! Maybe while they're, while they're searching those other three planets, maybe we can get the fifth one while we're here. Yeah, we now have... Oh, oh no, not, oh. not launch. Exit. Exit the ship. Yeah, we now have a new beam, which means hopefully some things have opened up. So the game has kind of opened up a little bit. It's hoping that you remember some things and that maybe you go back to certain places. Oh. So here we can use the battle hammer to open up this place right underneath our ship. And now we have a shortcut. And now, now we have another expansion for, to our universal ammo. Oh! See, I didn't even know that was under there. Or did I, and I just don't remember. You don't, you, you, well, you, you never knew. No way, you know, no, no way you would've known unless you would've just checked yourself. No way, no how. No way, no how. So we gotta make our way through the entire level, really. Wasn't Good. this level only like 15 minutes? <laughs> if I remember correctly. Well, this one's uh, quite a degree longer now. Uh, yeah. Because now we are essentially exploring the second half of the level, and you wouldn't believe how happy I am that we are fighting these guys right now. Oh, who are these guys? These, oh, the, the hunters? These or are just, the guardians? These, these are just guardians here. Uh, now what's gonna happen is if you go into these opening rooms, you may or may not be attacked by a hunter. Oh. And seeing as how there are no hunters here, all you have are the much easier guardians to deal with. But the thing is, they get, they appear at random sometimes, and if they appear at random, that means that you're kind of locked in. So it's a good thing that they showed up here. And not when we're trying to leave. Okay. This one especially, because we're gonna need every minute we can, we can muster. I know we're... We're back here, and coming back to planets is just a mechanic of the game. Yes. What did that timer actually do? It may have just, like, locked down the planet or, you know, made it so that the octolith would have been taken away. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, because uh, normally when there's a timer in a Metroid game, the planet explodes, but the planet's still here. So, no explosion. It just, like, just, just like, smack your hand or something like that? Just say, no! See, see, my guess is, and just because I haven't looked it up, um, if you don't make it out and launch from the planet by the time the timer turns out, maybe getting out from the planet is impossible. Hmm. And you're trapped here, and they get you, and you die, game over. Try again. Go faster. The alert system calls all the hunters. You have all seven of them attacking you, or five, however many there are. I think there's six? Six? Six hunters, add you in there, that's seven. So we got Noxus, we got Trace, we got Silux, we got, we got Lector, Spire, got, uh, we got uh, Candon, and Weevil. I remembered them all! So hey, look at me! I'm a Metroid Prime Hunter's master! I remember them all just offhand! And you are, in fact, the only Metroid Prime Hunter's master. I'm unique! <laughs> I'm the only person who likes this game. Look. I felt the exact same way when I did Conker's Pocket Tales, okay? <laughs> I understand the feeling! It's, you know, enough time has passed now that, you know, it's not the state-of-the-art hot game of the moment. Mm -hmm. Let's look back and see what is it. It's a certainly unique Metroid game, and, uh, well, g given how low the series can go... This isn't bad. All right, a little advice for this one. You can use a battle hammer ah! to open this. You will be attacked by uh, guardians, uh, you know, nearly immediately. My advice to you to make sure you don't get uh, turned around: when you open up one door, open up the door directly across from that. Hmm. Okay. Because there, because there's four doors here. They're all they're all battle hammer doors. I, I accidentally hit one just there. <laughs> Oh my god, these guys are annoying. And if you if you open all four of them at once, you're gonna get really confused because now you won't be able to know which way is which. Yeah. But if you open just one door, and then the door directly across from that, 
that'll take you to the other end of the room. And so that when you go through the one room that you opened on that side of the room, you can go to the other end of the room. It, 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 it just helps. This I is all. I understand. This is all just to make sure that you don't get lost when you make your way back, because you're going to have to make your way back through all of this. Oh my god, another upgrade. Another universal ammo expansion. That's why there's 12 of these things, because they want you to use these hunter weapons. And it's kind of hard to do when, you know, they have the ammo system. So now we got our next weapon! What? The Volt Driver! This is why we came in here. Convert it to multi-terawatt energy. It's basically an, an electro beam. We got a Lechman's weapon. Ooh. It can All now right. open yellow doors. Oh shoot, can we do the pause trick? It doesn't quite work that way. Damn it! Yellow Devil's gonna be impossible. I think they patched that out because, you know, they had to, you know... Shit. It's, it's for online and all that. Oh man. So this is all so we can get through one specific door. Just one door. Just one door. Because beyond that one door is where the second half of the level is. Where we're gonna get three more artifacts and another weapon. What a one door full thing we're doing. Boy, that really hinged on a lot, didn't it? <laughs> I'm such a knob. I was about to go for it, too. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that's not a lock. Ooh, that was good. See, that's the key to making these jokes, is, you know, finding things that make sense. Find the jokes that you adore. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. So this one yellow door here. Yeah, where's this take us? It takes us to a corridor, to yeah. an elevator. Yeah. Takes us over here to a thing where you just boing to another yellow door. That's how you know we're getting the second half of the level because they have another Olympic prophecy up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow high door, voltage. high voltage. Zap. Yeah, it, z zappy, zap. Go, go, zappy. Boom. Boom. Yay. All right. Whoa. This takes you to another portal to another entire area of the celestial archives. That's how they extend it. Okay. So it really is just another planet, essentially. This is, yeah, the, the, you got transported to a different segment. In essence, this is level five. It's just intertwined in with level one. Nice. Okay. Another universal expansion. These things are everywhere. Oh, wow. So that timer is going to be extremely long now. Because you have <laughs> to go through this entire section and then find your way through section one to get on your ship to escape. You don't know the half of it. Well, then tell me the other half! Well, we'll get there when we get there. Okay, cool. But first off, I want... Alright. Whoever designed this room at Nintendo, mm -hmm. I want them severely reprimanded or fired. <laughs> <laughs> so you start things out, and you have these... You have, there are three enemy spawners. Yeah. There's one over here, there's one over there, and there's one on top of the bridge dispensing drones. Okay. Don't go too far in, though. Kind of stay in this first third of the level. Just kind of stay back here a little bit. You need to get up to that bridge. Don't go up there. Just kind of go over here and up here. Take them out this way. Uh, like, the, like this. Uh, I mean, uh, the, there. Like, like this. There we go. There. All right. Take that out first so you can take out the drones. But again, don't go too far into the room yet. This looks like a boss arena, actually. Because then you go too far in. Oh, do they respawn? Guardians show up. Oh! Two guardians show up when you're halfway through. But again, don't go all the way to the back of the room just yet. What do you mean? See, so he's trying to lure me back there. I wonder why. Hmm, that's fun. Oh, wow. Tactics. Why is he trying to lure me back there? There must be something else there. Hmm. The Volt Driver really works against these guys, though, because the Volt Driver kind of kicks ass. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a really good So weapon. you zappy. Got it. Cause then you go all the way back here, and you get six more, and you oh. have t three enemy spawners that spawn drones oh, shit. with fucking electricity. They got the Volt Driver. Let's see. So that's six spawners plus two guardians that they want you to deal with if you just happen to run past enemy triggers. And if you go, pa if you just run all the way to the end, all of them will be uh, activated at once. And whenever you defeat the drones and basically make that ineffective, these force fields go down one. At a time. Leaving you open to enemy fire when you get control back! 
Oh! Okay, yeah, that's not good. So that's strike two! Yeah, that's not good. Strike one for a nonsensical enemy placement. Strike two for this bullshit. And now, ready for strike three. Yeah. You probably only can activate one. The so force fields go back up. Shoot that. Disengages that force field. Okay. Shoot, this shoot another. Disengages that force field. Does everything respawn? Tell me everything respawns. Shoot that one. There's the third. And one. the third one despawns or Despawning goes away. Enemy show. So you gotta come back over here. And they're back. They're back. Oh, something showed up. Don't gotta scan. It's something showed up. I hear yeah, it. So down here, these force fields. Shoot that one. And you shoot. shoot that one. And, and then you shoot that one. And then you gotta go all the way back here. <laughs> because that force field's gone now. <laughs> there couldn't have so been you go one. all the way back up here. There couldn't have been one on the front or side. You make your way in here. Uh, so you can scan this one. And what this does is open the portal on the way over there. What the f- <laughs> What was the point of all that? I hate this room! Whoever made this room needs to be fired! <laughs> I wonder... No, because you have to kill the turrets in back in order to unlock the force field, so yes. you can't just like, waste time or waste their time. They can waste mine, though! And this takes us all the way up to space! And a oh. guardian! Oh, just like actual space. Okay, can't shoot that one. See, the, the, that red force field is not working, so I gotta use like battle hammer or something. Boom. The, boom. Please, I'm begging you. Quit moving around so much. Oh, there we the go. Shit. Ah, there we go. There we yeah. go. Yeah, right. All right. So, while in space, what do we do in space? Oh, shield key down there. Oh, okay. okay. And this opens up the first of our artifacts. Do you void out in a Metroid game? Yeah, pitfalls are, are something we don't really deal with too much in Metroid games. Oh my! So what do you think happens when you fall out into open space? Game over! Death. Reload checkpoint, which I don't think is too far, but still try not to fall. Wow. Okay. This is new. Uh-huh. No life system. Well, you don't really need one, but... Yeah, the last time you saved... I don't think it goes that far back. I think it might be to when checkpoint. I... Checkpoint. You really think it's checkpointed? It, it might be when I got that shield key. Okay, maybe, so not maybe, too far Maybe back. some before. Maybe I might have to fight the Guardian again. That's what I'm thinking, but not too. Nothing maybe like too a, a soft, uh, soft checkpoint. So there's four little uh, extensions out here. What I got onto here we'll call number two. First one was get to to get the uh, sh the key, right? Well, that that's just the bottom one. The there's artifact. there's four separate oh, ones up I, here. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. This one I'm writing, the leftmost one. We'll call this number one. So clockwise. Yes. So go into this portal, and now we got a portal maze on our hands, folks. Oh my lord. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So number one portal maze. Do not use this one first. Yep. That door we can't open. It looks like it might be battle hammer, but <laughs> it is in fact a blue door. Oh uh, no. So you go into this portal and we have another Guardian fight. Hi, Guardian. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey, oh. I just realized how much ammo you have for that thing. It's over 230. Oh, oh yeah. And we still got plenty more to find. There's another Guardian closing in on me. I don't know why they t they, sh they spawned the shield key when I killed that one Guardian, but not both of them. Why do they do it this way? Hold on. They're getting a bit more powerful. I just need to nip, nip. All right. So whenever you see a portal that has that... Uh, that, like, the glow. I, I, I guess terminal by it. That'll take you back to the, the, that first area in open space. Oh, okay. But this, I'm afraid, is a bit of a dead end. We had to come here first in order to kill those guardians, in order to get the shield key to spawn. Mm -hmm. Now we have to, well, find another portal and go somewhere else. Terminal? So this takes you right back here. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. So to the left was one and two. Right here is, we'll call, three. Three. Yeah. And three and four are connected. Ooh, well, that helps. Number three. So three takes you to this room, and there are drones and two guardians down there, as well as a nice missile expansion. More useless missiles. 
Why is everything green? I think it's to tell which room. Like, th there's three separate rooms in this portal maze. I got you. There's the blue room, there's the green room, and then there's the regular room. I just thought you were dealing with noxious gas or something like that. I just like the greenness, okay? Might have to do with that reactor, too, and this is the DS's way of saying, Look, lighting! I wonder if you can use a green screen gag in here. Just one to flash on the screen. Uh, uh it's not working too great. to yeah, stop that. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are strafing. That's hilarious. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they move way too erratically. And with no lock-on feature, it's kind of hard. It's like we're playing Splatoon. Like, even Metroid Prime 3, even though that has, you know, you know, uh, the Wiimote aiming, that still has a lock-on feature. <laughs> I see you shooting erratically. I know you're trying to shoot them, but they're just dodging way too quickly. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. How do you play shooters? Do you use sticks? Do you use mouse and keyboard? Nah, man. DS touchscreen. DS touchscreen. Specially modded controller. Just so yeah. I can do that. So we ended up down below there, which wasn't great. So now we gotta make our way to, uh... Platform Numero 4! Catra. Yeah. Time for the red room. No, this is the regular room. Oh, okay. We got their little, what, stone pillar here? That, uh, this thing. He's gonna jump on you. He's gonna jump. I guess this uh, is what missiles are good for, too. Just this. He's gonna, gonna jump See, it's, on you. It's, it's situational is what it is. Jump on you. Ah! In the second you kill it, the whole bunch of spawners pop up! Why? Oh, this is obnoxious. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, not not a fan. They're, they're shooting like battle hammer shit at you too. Oh, so they hurt too. Oh, and these floor spotters show up too. Jesus. And all of this just because you killed their, <laughs> their jumping man. Well, the, uh, the log note said it's pleasing to Olympic uh, aesthetic, so that tells me that you destroyed our precious base. Oh, and there's a guardian too. <laughs> there's two guardians. I, I can That's barely great. I can barely see it because I think you still have a spawner that you have to deal with. Yeah, there's still uh, I, I can hear him. I thought I got him though, but I but I can hear him. You're constantly. See what can happen is that the enemies will stay shot. right on the spawner, and then when you kill the enemy that's on the spawner, you kill the enemy not the spawner, and then the spawner spawns another enemy that stays around the spawner. And... It's a little difficult here, I gotta say. Mm, just a little bit, Daffy Duck. <laughs> It brings out the cartoon There's a and all third of us. guardian! Jesus! There are three guardians waiting out there! Jeez! Okay, now he's just flexing on you. Come on, shoot the man! There we go. I'm a little exasperated here! Fuck! Well, now that we've uh, cleared all three of the rooms... Good fight. Now we gotta figure out where we gotta go. Oh, back to the... So... Oh, this is a different flavored room. This is, yeah, this is the blue room. We've already cleared this one, though. That was the first room we cleared. Through here we get the shield key, which unlocks the uh, shield that gives us to the second artifact. Yes, only the second artifact. You're gonna have a hell of a time getting back. Because <sighs> I don't even know where you are right now. And we, if we drop down here, this takes us back to, ah, there we go. to place one. Now I recognize it. Kind of trapped here now. Are we gonna get our new weapon? The blue weapon? We well, kinda have to, right? That's what we have to do. Yeah, we have Cause, to. Cause there's still... A third entire section of the fucking level! Starting to feel bad for you, man. This isn't good for your health. Metroid Prime Hunter is not good for the health. It's all... Well, I mean, again, playing it casually is fine, but when you're trying to make a show out of it, it's a little, uh... Yeah. My thumbs are hurting again. <laughs> it's a little confusing because you have to go through like one specific ass portal in order to figure out what to do next. Okay, we're back. I figure out which one it is though. I we did not go through I think it's the one, one you're closest to now. Because we went through that one and you went back. Uh a little cutting here, but I think it's this one that takes you. Up here? No, and we were this just... this is where you got the artifact. Oh, right, yeah, there. 
So oh, we, there was another one so, up here. Yeah, the center portal here takes you over here on top, mm -hmm. and the door over here is open. So you drop down here, and make sure there's nothing up here. Just, okay, drop down here, and there you go! Oh! The shock coil! Uh, authorized prototype and missed a concentrated beam of high density. N entrance? Neutrinos. Neutrinos. It's basically just a, a one big long electricity beam. Ooh, this is the, your blue beam. Yes, this this opens the blue doors. Oh, fantastic. You wouldn't believe it, but that's a blue door. Ow. There we go. So we drop down here, which takes us to yet another portal. Jesus. Well, at least you're unlocking shortcuts. To another section of the level. Welcome to the Tetra Vista. <laughs> it's seen better days. It's currently open to the uh, the vacuum of space. Yes. A very uh, convenient. Oh, and there's of course there's electricity drops ah! coming your way too. I thought you were about to fall into the pit. Oh no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. But if you do fall in the pit, you will die. You will indeed die. And in fact, I am nearing death as it is. So I better be careful here. It might be welcome. So, I recommend when these drones show up, kinda... Huh? J jiggle your cursor around them a, a little bit. Because when they fire their electricity balls, you can shoot them out so they won't hurt you. Hmm. They drop health, so oh which, which helps. Oh my god! I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be a little tough getting back, though, but hey, I think I think the worst of it is over, and I don't think there's any, anything more to worry about, and got it. Alright. Except for the Guardian, right inside this door! Nah, I wouldn't be that mean. I think the Guardians are kind of fucking off for a little bit. I think we kind of dealt with all the Guardians in this place now. Alright, so next up is... up oh, all these things. Got plenty of loading screens. Ah! Ah! Please no, please no. Alright, these things are called quad droids. Oh, come on. They're basically quadrupedal metroids? But like, it's just a little, sort of, you know... Basically, best defeated with morph balls. I like the panic morph balling. I dig it. Panic morph balling is effective. <laughs> I'm a man of practicality. <laughs> yeah. If it's effective, I will so do So quickly, it. quickly, 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 make your what way over here, scan this first. Why? Because there's a whole bunch of drones coming your way that's gonna hurt you. If you have low health like I do, you need to get over here so you can get back to your ship portal. <sighs> oh, good. So we'll take a quick save. Just to get to... Get the old blood flowing again, you know, just so good. And we're back, all right. Go to the right, the, no, the right one. The, the correct one, that yes. That one, yes. Yes, that one. Left one facing the ship, right one facing away from the ship. Takes you back here. All right, now we can take him on just fine. Hmm, so I'm noticing the difficulty spike. Is this normal? What is is this regular or is this normal difficulty? Because there is no difficulty. Oh, a little bit. Of, oh, well, oh, okay. So is there only easy and hard? There is only play the game or don't. Oh, okay. Well, that uh, solves one question. Uh, yeah, I didn't think Metroid had this much of a difficulty curve, or maybe Hunters is just the the black sheep. See, well, again, they're trying to. Uh, I, I think they're trying to cater to the first-person shooters uh, of the world. Because this is definitely very much shootery. I can't wait to be able to cook a grenade as Samus. I mean, you got the enemy spawners, you have all this stuff. Oh my lord. That endless vacuum oh, of space. Land. Oh, good. I will admit, though, the platforming isn't that bad. They're very generous with it. You have a very wide, you know, margin of error. Most of the time. So here's our third artifact, but... They want us to look at this lore first. Our defenses were useless against Gurria as it swept through our empire in an orgy of annihilation. I wouldn't use orgy, but okay. Olympic soldiers were powerless before Gurria's onslaught. Hmm. Gurria is capable of changing its shape and it uses a wide variety of weapons. And we deployed our deadliest weapons to defeat the beast. To our horror, every weapon was somehow used against us by Gurria. Seems like you guys have another Metroid Prime problem on your hands. Except this time it was created by an orgy. Of annihilation. Gone Gurria. And that's our third artifact. That's handy. Oh, God. Now where do we go to find the thing? Where's the portal? I haven't seen the portal, have you? Nope. Is it somewhere in the maze? It means that we gotta keep going further on. So the force field's down. Let's keep on moving. 
They wouldn't drop a guardian before us, would they? Oh, absolutely. No, they dropped this guy. Oh, hi, this guy. This is a greater Itharak. Penetrable hide. Uh, suggests a frontal assault is ineffective. Just hit it in the back. Yep, hit in the bag. You've seen this guy before. Oh, okay. Probably another good time to use missiles. Ooh, nice chunk of health. Awesome. I think missiles work, get, work good against armored enemies. So you can just kind of drop down here. No need to go up. We just kind of need to go over, but I don't think I can make that. Come back, please. I'd, 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 I'd like to you to come down so I can, you know, make the jump a little better, please. Thank you. Thank you. It almost looked like you didn't make it. <laughs> See, I was on the lip, but again, very generous. <laughs> like the game pulled you back. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. Very generous. Ooh, hello. E-tank over here if you were really hurting for energy earlier, I guess. There. Looking good. Yeah, just missed it, but basically go up here and in the room, and that's our portal. Wow. And we still have to make it back. Uh-huh. We still have to make it back. Hopefully without any interaction, or any uh, distractions along the way. Interruptions, I suppose, is the word, too. Can't wait for three of the six hunters to show up. Yo, oh, all it's six of them showed up and said, Hey, Samus, where are you going? What up, What girl? you got? Hey. <laughs> Do the comment on you. Hey! <laughs> Slam your head against the door. What's going on? What's up? Yeah, I think got some octolets for us. You know, mm -hmm. me, and my, me and my friends. It just shocks coils them into oblivion. That's what I think about your cabot on. Cabot, don't touch me. Guess what? Oh, hey, look, it's the exact same fucking thing we fought before. Every world has a, a tower and a slinch. Jesus. So here is the third version of the slinch. Wow, so much variety. So much variety. This one uh, uses battle hammer, I think. So it uses high voltage. It's using high voltage. And uh, battle hammer works against high voltage. You're supposed to think that, you know, green works against yellow and you know, Mega Man fashion. Oh, okay. These are okay, though, because unlike the last slunch we fought, which fired magma shots, these fire electricity shots, which are much slower, much more easier to avoid. But probably also do more damage. Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow! Battle Hammer's not exactly my favorite, but now the slunch does this. Oh my god! Yeah. I thought it was just, you know, dancing the dance of you can't hit me, you can't hit me. No, it actually jumped right into you! They say the best way to avoid it is to go with Morph Ball and go underneath, but frankly, fuck that, so I'm gonna just have to take every <laughs> single hit it's gonna give me. My one weakness, you moving slightly to the left or right. I absolutely despise this mechanic! What? I despise this mechanic! Oh, having Because when it's, when it's shaking to show that it's going to charge... It can't be hurt. All of a sudden it becomes impervious. Just, hey, guess what? Now I'm impervious. At least let me take a few more pot shots so I can at least take the hit. You can, you can make me take more damage. But let, let me hit it while it's still there because this just makes this battle interminable! So I'm using the shock coil. It doesn't do as much damage, but I'm doing damage. I'm doing constant damage with the shock coil when it hit its eye. But battle hammer's the way to go. That's the that's the best thing that works apparently. Trying to use charge me, that doesn't do too much. And the you know, thing moves around so erratically, I can't do it. By the time I you know it it stays and st stays still, it does that, and I can't fucking hit it. And then it goes backwards. Not my favorite boss in the Metroid series. No, it is not. What do you mean? The first one, the second one, or the third one? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are all terrible. I just wonder how this makes it through. Like, when somebody says, I have an idea for a boss, and what if we do that shit three times? Maybe more. Uh, who signs off on that? Let's have only two bosses, two two in each planet, you know, to, to, to cut costs and save space, because we already crammed so much into this game as it is. Okay, fine. Let's give it, you know, specific hunter weapons and, uh, some, ultra some changing battle attacks to make it seem more unique. Sure. This but, is ew. But in actuality, the aiming is so bad, it's hard to really get a, get a grip. He, he moves around so much. Yeah, I kind of hate this, and I'm not even playing. It is, it is bad. There is, there is an out, though. Like I said, you can always just kind of stand back 
and uh, shoot those green torpedoes and get more health and ammo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to by the end here. Look, I got two. I got two health. Left. We're not even in the third phase yet. The thing that kills me is that your shots are going through if you don't hit the red eyeball. That, that whole thing is an yes, eyeball. I hate it. I hate that so much. Ew. Ew. Uh huh. Make the whole thing. Uh huh. Be hurt. Ew. Fills my toilet with just scuzzy slench, <laughs> you know? This boss is ass! So I'm gonna take some time to step back here and make sure I have enough ammo, so you just stand back here, the green torpedoes will come to you, but the electricity will not. Oh! So you can just stand back here for a little bit, get some uh, health back, and I'll just, uh, yeah, take some time and... Uh, you must be a connoisseur of cheese, my friend. Oh, I'm a great yes, connoisseur of cheese. Seems you have found some cheese. Yeah, this is pretty great. There. All right, I got uh, full ammo and I got uh, most of my health back. I think that should be enough to take this guy down. Wait, that was full ammo? You barely got anything. I I, I didn't skip. Oh, okay. You don't want to see me sitting here for like you know two okay. two solid minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought like you know every time you pick up a green power up, it's like oh you got fifty ammo. Oh, thank you. Now we're in the third stage where it's like erratic like hell. Mm -hmm. Shot coil really helps in this situation because, again, does constant damage. May not do the most damage, but this takes too long. Whenever you say shot coil, I just think you're saying shot collar. <laughs> I'm moving around. <laughs> God, that's uh, obnoxious. And it's stupid looking. It's like a giant walnut attacking you. This, this is it's it's another time extender. Uh huh. If you didn't have this, like, let's say you had four bosses, and the hunters double as bosses at the end of said planets. You would have to make two more hunters, but then we would have less monotony, and all of a sudden you have a two-hour game. But that's not what they want. Battle Hammer really is the best way to go here. If you gotta shoot when it gets close, and you can do just enough damage. I really hate it, though, because it has no charge. It just has this kind of boot, 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 when you, when you hold it's L. A but it, but it does, it does fine. It, uh, well, we, we did it, we did it. Probably should have done Battle Hammer from the start. It's fine. You got it, it's dead. It's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. It's very 7 out of 10. It's fine. 7? Parts like this are making it a 6, though. But hey, look on the bright side. 5th Octolith. We're 5 eighths done with the game. <laughs> yep, uh-huh. We're over halfway done now. Which is still really funny to me. Because, you know, I'm thinking all the Metroid games that we've done. The shortest one was Super Metroid, and that's because you kind of blitz through it. Yeah, we were going, like, on, on, a, on a speed run route, basically. Yeah. With this one, this is just the game. It's just the game. <laughs> we're almost done. We took our time with Metroid Dread because we were kind of... Because it was fun. Shooting the shit, you know, exploring around. Ooh, the cancer tried. The... What? I cancer. Have a, I have a feeling... Space cancer? ...that the person talking to us might not be the Olympics. Oh. Uh, 13 minutes. 13 minutes? Or, or 11. How about eight and a half? Hmm. It's a little different than what I thought. Boy, okay. Boy! Am I really glad we <laughs> I fought... <see. laughs> yep, nope, we're getting out of here. Go, 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 go! Boy, am I really, really, I'm really, really glad that we fought those Guardians at the start there. Yeah, because You now, know what this game also has? Hmm... Hunters? FALL DAMAGE! Metroid Prime Hunters has FALL DAMAGE! No fucking way! FALL DAMAGE?! No fucking way! FALL DAMAGE! Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are you fucking kidding me? FALL DAMAGE in a Metroid game! She- she's a Chozo power suit! Oh. Chozo power suit. They're birds. They don't, they, they, they don't fly, but they're smart. They can, they can absorb the shock. Oh my god! I saw it, and it got hit again. <laughs> Fall damage. <laughs> Fall damage. Are you kidding? My ball sack. It didn't look like it did that much. Well, the, but well, it's the still, fact that it's there in the, it's at there all. In the first Why place is it there bad. at all? It shouldn't be there at all. Oh, don't worry. I wasn't saying. Oh, it's not a bad thing if it doesn't do damage. No, it still does damage. It's a Man, bad I got, thing. I got really shouty in this episode. It might be because you secretly hate this game like everybody else in the world. I think I hate this part, and I don't think people hate this. I think people are just like, yeah, it's it's a game. Because, hey, I'm, you know, invested. Is that because of the contract, or...? <laughs> well... <laughs> Maybe so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
that's that's part of it. But it's like, hey, you know, I want to get all the all, all the octolets. I can I can handle this. I want to stop ultimate power. I want to give this straight to the Federation. It just it just it feels okay to play sometimes. <laughs> Your hands beg to differ. Like, I feel like I'm fishing for compliments, but it keeps biting, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but you're never catching anything. It's a mixed bag, how about we say a that? A mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. It's the easy way to be an apologist. It's one of the times you get, like, you know, ooh, an M&M, huh? Mm -hmm, oh, that's good, and you get, oh, a raisin. Oh, I'm sure I'm nah. And then you get, ooh, a Skittle, huh? That's, 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 that's interesting. And then you get an almond. Oh, oh are you forever. out already? Yeah, we're out. We gotta make our way back. Okay, that was a good shortcut. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> no fall damage that time. Yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Rats are <laughs> fall damage. I haven't seen fall damage in, like, forever. In any game. So I really think this part here is gonna really <sighs> add to the confusion. Oh yeah, because this looks precisely like the the other rooms that we've already dealt with. Yeah, it's 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 very samey and uh, well. Oh, more guardians. And also, guardians start showing up in these rooms. Oh my rooms. god, more guardians! This is why you need all the time because now you know you could say, oh, I could just leave, right? You cannot. Nope, nope. Okay. Gotta beat the guardian. I mean, it, it looks like the doors aren't sealed, but the doors that go to you know further down, you know, out of the level, those are sealed. Hmm. And what's also maddening, this actually happened when I was practicing. Let's say that you uh, have one hell of a fight with this guardian. Mm -hmm. You get turned around, and you accidentally go the wrong way. Like, you go through this door, and mm. the platforms start going up, not down. Mm. So you turn back around to go back the way you came, and guess who come back? Aw, oh, man! Yep. Respawning so guardians? Make sure you do not get turned around. You see why I told you to use two doors in this part here? Gross. This is a game that really wants to challenge you. It, it really is mad that you want a Metroid game. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted a Metroid game on a handheld? Well, some sacrifices have to be made. So just to show, hey, I can just leave, right? No, you can't, so you gotta go back. But th thankfully, you know, they they don't like to get <laughs> their health right back or whatever. They're waiting for you. This is all just one big room. Fucking spawn campers. Th those doors are connected to another part of the room. It's, a, it's the same area. I don't know how you're able to focus on this. Things are happening on screen and it kind of hurts my eyes. Yeah, no, I do. Mm -hmm. Like, that's an obnoxious effect and it happens all the time because they are pinpoint accurate. They are pinpoint accurate and they are constantly volleying these things at you. Jesus. Yeah. But, but playing it though, actually sitting there and doing the firefight, I won't, I won't admit if it's a little intense. It's fine. See, this is why you're playing this. Am I, like, yeah, there's moments that just drive me up a fucking wall with these design choices, but there's moments that we go, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of cool, that's fun, that's all right. <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> goddammit! But they, but I'm noticing that they're just piling it on. Piling it the fuck on now. It's a lovely little distraction we have there. Do we have another distraction? Bring it on. Nice. Hey, look, more distractions. Just these things. We need to worry about them. And another look-alike room! I hate it! No guardians here, though, so you can just go straight across. God, there's so many samey rooms. And I think we're home free. Yeah, this, it's, again, this is where most of the time is supposed to get you at. Yeah, not, not a fan of this one. No, I'm not either. I'm, I'm really the not. The return, not that good. First time you came in here, that's okay. But the, too, too many samey rooms. It's bad design. I'm hoping that the other planets are a little better. Because, you know, the that, that the other part we went through, like that second half of this level, that was okay. Yeah. But we didn't have to go through all that because it was literally just, you know, go out one uh, one portal, mm -hmm. then go out into another portal, and then go down here. You've already cleared all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that was... Yeah. Wouldn't it be awful to have a Guardian fight right here? Actually, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Good thing we took care of him already. Especially since they're, like, jumping all over the place. That's a huge room to fight them in. Doesn't take long to kill them, but man. But man. Yeah, that 2 minutes 45 you would have had would have been a little tight. But congrats. You did oh, it. Oh, we did it. Cleared the archives once again. Well, next time on Metroid Prime Hunters. 
Let's go do more of that on another planet. Woo boy! See you then. Goodbye, Celestial Archives.